G'day there. In my last video, I said I'd show you an insect which doesn't look like an insect. The suspense is over. Let's roll. Welcome to One Minute Bugs. I'm Dennis Crawford. One of the dominant shrubs in my area is a plant that is very familiar to most Australians. It's a type of tea tree. This particular species is very common in this area and is much maligned because it is fire prone and is also very prickly. But when flowering, these shrubs are insect magnets. They are a major nectar source for many insects and other animals. Our insect is often found among the flowers, but it's not after the nectar. I've got a bunch of them just in front of me here. These are flower galls, and the creature living inside is known as Eremococcus turbinatus. It's one of the felt scales in the scale family Eriococcidae. The gall is hollow inside and contains a female. She's located towards the pointy end of the gall, and because the gall is often pointing upwards, the female is upside down. Here's a gall that I have cut open. The female is the pink disc-shaped creature. The gall provides protection for the female while she feeds and breeds inside. So how does the female breed inside the gall? At the base of the gall is a small hole which lets the males in and the nymphs out. Males would be tiny, winged, short-lived insects which would enter the hole, mate with the female, exit the hole, and then die soon after. First instar nymphs, or juveniles, are tiny insects known as crawlers. They leave the gall through the hole in the base and start feeding on soft new growth of the plant. In response, the plant grows around the crawler, forming the gall. Galls often take on a specific shape, which is often unique to the species of insect which caused it. I assume the turbinatus part of the name Eremococcus turbinatus refers to the conical shape of the gall. Galls formed by this species are only found on a couple of types of tea tree. In other words, this insect only lives on tea tree. It is not a pest. It is a native insect. It is just doing what comes naturally. And in the case of the females, it's usually upside down in the dark. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like what I do here, please subscribe to the channel. Coming up in the next video, everyone's favourite, bees. And thanks for watching.